Hello everybody and welcome to part three of the composite modeling series. Um, this time, as I said, will be about the coating itself. Um, as you can see, I prepared everything and I will start with uh, tell you, telling you what's, uh, what you can see here, what you will need. Of course, you will need the colors. Uh, in, in this case, we have a nice blue, a nice yellow, the white and a transparent one. And the because it's a two component color, the hardener for, for all of them. For cleaning, I have two, um, two cups of acetone, one, uh, one dirty used one for the first step and the uh, second uh, a clean one, just some reserve acetone um, and the cups we will need for mixing the paint. Uh, of course, we need a scale. Uh, this one uh, has a, a quite a small, um, quite small degree scale with uh, two um, numbers behind the, 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 the comma. Um, we have two syringes, um, one is for the color itself um, and one is for the hardener um, to just to, to dose them properly, something to stir, which you can reuse. I, I, I like to uh, reuse this, this carbon thing um, every time, something to open the bottles. Of course, gloves. Um, because you don't want to uh, don't want the color to touch your hands or anything, um, and of course the spraying gun itself. Uh, I already prepared the um, the room for spraying, and we'll go over there. Uh, as you see, I'm dressed uh, in a <laughs> um, in a hoodie um, because all of the dust that is flying around will settle down onto your skin and your hairs and you will feel that that it's getting kind of stiff also the hairs um, so if you want to be sure um, be sure to have proper um, air exhaustion um, and if not um, cover yourself with uh, everything you have um, also a mask which is in the in the room already and an earpiece um, when the compressor is uh, running mm. I personally have a cheat sheet like this, just a book where I record everything um, that I'm building, uh, like uh, the, the layups for fuselages or measurements in the wings or whatever here, like this. Um, and also the amount of color that I'm using, that I have used and uh, how much was left in the end. So you can uh, uh, work your way down to the optimal um, mass of color. So now let's start with preparing the color. Um, I, as I said in the previous videos, you will find them uh, there. Um, we will start with the blue. Um, first things first. <clears throat> I will use about five grams of this. Okay, here, there, tear, important. Um, you see, I covered um, my my desk because um, you cannot avoid some some color to to touch the surface. So, so five grams is about five milliliters here. So I will get out five milliliters. It's heavier than water, so it will be a bit more. Again, zero grams, okay. Now that's five, okay. <coughs> Close it. I won't need that blue again. So I'm already cleaning out this syringe. Just do that with, uh, with acet uh, um, acetone in a few steps and you will have no problems. 
first step like of this and you can already see you cannot prevent that and the second step or if you're filthy rich and don't care for the environment a bit you can use a new syringe for everything so that's five grams now um, the mixing ratio of this is uh, 100 to 50 so five grams um, times uh, divided by two it's two and a half grams this color is measured by weight there are uh, some colors um, that have to be dosed uh, by volume uh, please be sure to um, make the correct measurement by volume this would be fine um, by, by weight I have to use the, the scales okay see it was lying around for, for some time two and a half let's go can work your way to the optimal mass drop by drop perfect just note I don't clean that one yet because I will use it a few times again and now let's stir it Okay, you see that's not much. Seven and a half grams. Now let's head over to the um, coating room and do some coating. Yeah, I won't have any sound there. Uh, I will just um, dub that later. So, see you. So, now for the second uh, color. I already opened and stirred this one and cleaned up a bit. Um, for cleaning the stirring rod, um, I clean it only with a towel. Um, but if you switch to a color like white or a transparent, um, which very easily soak in um, pigments and uh, make them show, uh, um, suggest you clean it with uh, with acetone first. Um, okay, uh, I will put in a bit more than last time um, because one of the more um, inconvenient things is to run out of color mid painting. Um, that's why I'm using six grams now. I think the area is about the same. <coughs> but better to be sure. 6.05. That's okay too. Then I also uh, have a new set of gloves. These ones were blue. Now these ones are getting yellow. Um, that's why it's good to buy them in a pack of thousands or so. Um, now again the hardener. Six grams divided by two is three. quite a resistance for this because of the small tunnel here. Three grams. Most of the time the colors tolerate a bit of a mismatch of the two components. That's no big issue. Um, but it's better to be precise. Okay, now stirring again. Before I continue with spraying, I will take off the masking for this yellow color, what I talked about earlier. Okay, let's head over.
Well, as you can see, I'm putting on the mask and earpieces um, to protect myself from the uh, compressor noise and, and the dust. Then, as I said, I'm taking up down the uh, I'm taking up the tape and ensuring that no air is under the tape that is on the on the mold and um, pushing it down with a scalpel too. And after that, starting the coating itself. I will apply the paint in, in more or less one layer, uh, one, one very thin layer, more or less a bit of dust on it. And after that, I will finish it off uh, to coat the whole thing. So, hello, now we are here for the third uh, color. I finished the blue and the yellow, uh, now the, the white is on. I cleaned the syringes, I cleaned the, the stirring stick. Um, for the white, we'll have a bit more um, because we will uh, apply the white color in two layers. So we get a more opaque um, yeah, color. You don't want the the black um, carbon to shine through. I did one layer in the in the beginning. It it works too, but it doesn't look very nice. So right now I'm doing two. You can even do three layers. That's okay. It, it depends on the color you are using. <clears throat> the colors itself. That means uh, the. Uh, blue and the yellow I am not um, doing in more than uh, one layer um, because the white behind that just um, doesn't reduce the, the strength of the color. That's, that's fine. Okay, that works. Not so nice. Color is not that young anymore. Not that fresh, but it works anyway. At least for a hobbyist like me. Okay, so now as I said we need a bit more. Um, my uh, calculations here said um, last time I tried 70 grams, but I only used 56. So right now I am trying 60 grams, which should be enough for the first layer um, for all parts. That means the wings, the tails, the nose cone. <coughs> and nothing else has, has white on it. I already prepared them in the, in the coating room. And I will um, do the, the layers on the wings first, then put them aside because I don't have so much room for that. Um, then do the tails and the nose cone, the first layer. Then I will put them aside and do the wings and then again the rest of it. So that's now... 59, 60 grams. Perfect, 60.0. Nice. Okay. Close that a bit. Now, for this, I'm so bold to just put it in there. 25 grams, you can measure that quite easily. 25.0 or 24.95, that's, that's okay. That's okay. See you. And there we are in the coating room. Um, 
I already removed the masking, as you can see. Um, that uh, should be no problem for you um, to, to take off the tape. Um, just be sure to take it off uh, in the direction of the color, because the uh, color that you apply um, will, uh, will um, be a kind of gel-like um, and um, will scatter out into the open if you don't do that into the di direction of the color. Well, you see I'm applying the white in uh, two layers. Um, the first one is a very dusty layer just to cover the area in general and after that uh, more or less coating the whole surface. Um, you see it's quite easy for me uh, to see how much uh, paint is on the on the mold because it's a black mold and white paint on a black mold uh, then you can see quite good um, how uh, opaque the uh, color already is unfortunately the uh, camera cannot see the the grain logo uh, now um, but that should be no problem y you can see it on, on the other areas um, the color is still not perfectly opaque that is intentional um, so this is kind of the first layer and I am well, not changing the molds and I'm applying the first layer to all of the molds um, and now you can make me see uh, well again I'm pressing down the tape so that no air is under the tape and that no color can get under the tape otherwise you will get artifacts that are not nice I'm also brushing away some dust uh, in front of the coating itself and you can see uh, if you are um, a good observer that I'm coating all the tails. This is uh, not intentional. Um, <laughs> the, the underside was supposed to be transparent too and now I did them white. Um, maybe you will see me um, getting that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm a loser. Um, but well, I, I'll, I'll just go with go with it, and I re remind myself of that uh, every time I see the plane. So now that's that's the, the tails, um, and I'll switch the modes again after that. Uh, now should be the nose cone. Okay, um, be sure to. Uh, reach every part of the mold, especially the ones that are uh, perpendicular um, to the to the uh, to the edges, where the color cannot get uh, very good. Um, so this also is a first layer for the nose cone and and the tails. And now I decided to do the second layer of the tails first, because um, I wanted to store the wings in a horizontal position for a longer time to avoid the color dripping down and forming uh, uh, bad uh, blobs or raindrops forming um, if you have too much paint on it. <coughs> With the tails uh, I'm applying only a thin uh, layer because um, they, they should be light in, in, any, in, any, scent, in any sense. Um, so the nose cone again and now for the final layer of the white for the wing on the upper side of the wing there's no white on the underside so now I'm coating this um, I th there is yeah now that the color is empty nearly empty I'm just finishing this one adding the other side um, and that's it well, now there, um, I, I refueled my, my, my paint gun and it took some more white and now you see the color is more and more opaque and I uh, back paint the color parts too so that they uh, are very bright and shiny and um, well, everything is starting to look very white and in the background you, when you cannot see any black you know it's, it's okay. Well, that's pretty much it nothing to it. Um, okay, let's go back to the workshop. So, hello everybody. 
Um, now for the last color, which will be the transparent one. Mm, I think about 50 grams should be enough to cover the whole um, downside of the wings and, and the fuselage and the parts of the, of the rudders and stuff. Mm, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, um, I will not need the transparent color for the tails anymore because I coated them in white. I wasn't that stupid before, but I'm doing these errors so that you don't do them, so that you don't have to do them. At least what's, that's what I'm telling me myself. So that's 40, 40 something. Mm. Now there will be something special um, with a tra transparent color, um, as all the backgrounds that I am covering with the transparent color will be black. Mm. I will add a, I will be adding a bit of um, <coughs> black pigment to this, um, so that the. There will be some small errors in the in the fabric anyway um, and in this way you can cover them quite nicely mm. and you can see while coating um, where you applied enough. That's 51.6 um, means 25.8. Okay, but first mm, so, not much, just a drop or two, that will be it, that's it. So the color should be, so the color should be mostly transparent, not completely. So, what did I say, 25.8. Yeah, 26 point something, but there is some left on this one. You can see it's quite black, but you can see through it. And that's what we want. Okay, see you in the coating chamber. Okay, so before I... Um, took the step to um, make the transparent color. Um, I removed all the tape um, that was left over, um, especially in the uh, areas where I wanted the transparent color to go that you can see now. Um, it's a bit of a shame that you cannot see the remo removal of the, of the grain logo mask, um, but it's quite a, a difficult um, uh, endeavor to do that um, because of the gel-like um, consistent of, of the paint. Um, if you do it in the wrong direction, uh, the white will spread out into the area that should be transparent and so the um, edge is not, not very sharp. Uh, the, the edge of the font is not very sharp. Um, but I managed to do that okay um, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see the result in, in future videos. I actually removed um, the tape, the, the masking tape of all the molds that are finished um, I was sure that there was no dust left in the room. Um, the uh, uh, evacuation works very well. You can see the uh, wood uh, instrument in, in the back of the room. Um, there are small holes in it and uh, you can see a, a big uh, exhaust pipe on the top of it. It's a 40 millimeter um, uh, pipe and uh, connected to a, to a big um, ventilator that gets the air out. Um, the window is open so that I uh, can have uh, enough air um, or that there is enough air intake um, for, uh, for it to go out. So now I'm already finished with the tape. 
um, with the molds that I'm um, still using, I'm leaving the tape on the edges on. Um, as you can see, now there, there's the transparent color. Um, here I'm only doing uh, more or less one layer um, because you don't have to care about the uh, opaqueness of the of the color. Um, you don't. You all, you only have to to cover all the area. That's the important thing. Um, because it uh, sticks to the wax a bit uh, less than the epoxy will. So that's what I'm doing with uh, the uh, areas in the fuselage, the uh, tails and of course the wing later. And with the wing you, you can see I'm uh, turning it to reach every um, area in, in, in the fuselage because the edges are so steep. Um, the one drop of black color was was a bit less uh, or a bit uh, few. Um, you, you can almost see uh, nothing of the black um, in the color. Um, and of course, yeah, I, I had to go back to to the workshop um, and get the the small part uh, that that I thought you uh, that that I told you not to forget. There you can or already can see the grain logo. Um, and now I'm covering the areas with uh, one or one and a half layer um, of transparent uh, color. Um, I think now the small thing should oh no no the yeah the undersides um, these are transparent as you can see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, I, I checked if I have enough, um, and I don't need so much color as I uh, need with the white. Um, because you, have to, you don't have to apply so many layers. You can see me currently switching from the, the round uh, spraying um, setting to the more wide one to, to cover more area. Um, and I'm doing that just by, by gut feeling. And, and I'm uh, constantly checking against uh, the, the light of the window. I'm checking the reflection uh, where you can see uh, where the color goes. That is quite easy and well in the end I applied a, a second layer to the uh, molds that are um, standing on the wall. Well that's about the coating process here. Then another layer for the tails and I'm done. So now we are finished with the coating itself. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw and took something with you. I'm going to clean up, clean up all the mess that I did now, um, like the gun or the working space and myself. Um, and I um, found out that, um, as you maybe can, can guess, um, I'm doing this on, on, on the fly um, and I cannot be sure if the uh, plane will come out perfect in the end. So this will be a kind of an experience and a journey. Yeah, I invite you to this journey and uh, to receive that invitation, uh, please subscribe and like. And I will stay here cleaning while with the next video we will Hmm. Didn't know what we do. I think we will cut uh, the, the the fabric, the carbon fiber fabric. That will be the next, or maybe the joiner. Okay. See you then. Bye bye.